Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has said it would be miraculous if Manchester United were able to challenge for the Premier League title next season. Amidst a terrible run of form to close out the season, Shaka, it seems the comments have also become a lot more negative. Yeah, especially it's, I find it surprising, especially given what we heard from Solskjaer when he first took over the job. In his first press conference as interim manager, he said that he was instructing his players to take chances, to go out there and play with a certain freedom, um, giving them a little bit of structure. And I thought the team responded. You saw how good they were. He never made excuses about injuries. And then all of a sudden, results started to change. Well, he got the manager on a full-time basis for starters, and results started to change. And I think so has, so has his rhetoric, which has been reflected by the fact that Manchester United just can't seem to rediscover the form that they, they enjoyed early, earlier on in the year. So it's, on the other hand though, Ross, I want to say he's right. Manchester United are 28 points behind Liverpool, 29 behind Manchester City as we stand. Can Manchester United make up 30 odd points on, on, on those two, given what you expect from both of them and I've seen from both of them in, in the transfer windows of, of late? I, I'm not sure how you do that, certainly not, not this summer in, in Wolf Fell Swoop. It, it, if they are going to catch those two, it's, it's going to be a process. It's going to be a long and painful process for, for Manchester United and their fans. It's interesting because of some of the criteria that they used, obviously, to weigh up whether he was worthy of the permanent manager's mm -hmm. job was very much his rhetoric and his attitude. Yeah. He, was, he was willing to ride above this narrative that Manchester United were failing off yeah. the pitch. He was, he was coming in with fresh ideas with the Manchester United DNA. They thought it was a return to that kind of sentiment. But obviously now, realism is hitting home with yeah. the work that needs to be done. Well, without question. And, and you now have to question whether Solskjaer is the right man to, to, to lead this, this reshaping of, of Manchester United. And, and that's where I'm not sure. I think the, initial, the signing of Solskjaer, um, as, as much as at the time I thought they didn't have much of a choice, it, it was a feel good. And it was to please the fans as, as much as anything understandably kind of given the disappointments you had on with Moyes and Van Gaal and, and Jose Mourinho who'd all been there, seen it and, and done it, certainly in, in the case of the, the latter two in, in particular, yet their football wasn't what you expect from Manchester United and at least early on Solskjaer brought that. But he's still untested in terms of not just managing a, a big football club but leading a revamp. And now you look at, at the likes of Pochettino and, and what he continues to, to do at Spurs and wonder if Manchester United shouldn't have just held out a bit longer. I know they wouldn't have wanted to have to deal with Daniel Levy over Pochettino, who just signed a new contract himself what, just over 12 months ago. That would have been a, a hard, painful and expensive process for them. But now you're looking at it, it probably would have been the right one. Well, that being said, they made their decision. And Solskjaer has a hard job ahead of him. A, a hard job made all the more difficult, given some of the, the rumours you're hearing around the likes of De Gea and Paul Pogba, given what you've inherited, certainly in, in the terms of Alexis Sanchez and his own wages. How do you now negotiate around that with a manager who doesn't really have the experience, a club, a big club, still one of Europe's biggest clubs without question, but they don't have Champions League football to, to look forward to in terms of attracting people in the short term. To get to the top of the tree, I think it's, it's way too much to ask of Manchester United. Certainly now, or over the next couple of years, get yourself back in as a regular top four. Unfortunately, fourth as a trophy, cliche is gonna be hung around your neck and somehow try to build, try to peg your way back in, into title contention uh, over the next, I, I think it's going to take at least five years. Wow. Well, they've made a move, it appears, they're close on a deal for Daniel James, the Welsh international winger from Swansea City. Only just started his first senior game back in August. Yeah. He's had a very decent year, including scoring for Wales. Uh, is this the kind of signing that Solskjaer really needs to fill his entire it's, squad it, with, or is it just one element that they want to bring in and, and make it as a signal, really, to the rest of the senior players at the club? It, it's an element um, that's a signal that says that Manchester United are going back to what they, they do and what's brought them success. And why I say that is, listen, he's not going to solve their problems. But I spoke to, to, to Sir Alex Ferguson a couple of years ago um, after the launch of, of his last book, and he was telling me that 
in his um, blueprint for, for, for success and building Manchester United to the club that it is now, the academy was always his focus. You had to have a strong academy. You had to bring young players through. You had to give those young players the opportunities, maybe bit by bit early on, and, but then bed them into the team over a longer process. That was his focus. And then you would bring players in, big, those big money signings, um, to fill the gaps where the academy um, didn't really have that talent coming through, to lend the experience, to, to lend um, the, the, the kind of steel to, to Manchester United. But this was all built on a strong academy and good youth players coming through. So this signing, again, doesn't move them any closer to the City or, or Liverpool, but it moves them closer to what Manchester United had been, or certainly st how they started under Sir Alex Ferguson. OK, well, it will be absolutely fascinating to see how the story of Manchester United progresses through Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's first transfer window in charge in the summer as permanent manage manager. We'll see if they can get the end result that they're looking for at home against his old team, Cardiff, of course, where it all began as Manchester United manager back in December. With a win on final day, maybe it will look a little rosier come the summer.